Hello, everybody. This is my final 2020 governor election prediction. This is the final one until the election. We're about four days out from election day, and I thought I would make my final governor election prediction. Um, I know I just made a governor election prediction about two days, three days ago, but I thought that I would make a, quote, final election prediction. So you guys can use... um or you guys can look back at my video and see how, how I did compared, to, especially when it says final, so you can see how I did compared to the election results. Now, the election, the governor election is probably going to be the easiest to predict out of all the states, but uh, obviously I'm still going to make it because it's still important. So I'm probably going to come out with a Senate election, final Senate election prediction, plus final House election prediction this weekend. And I'll have my final presidential election prediction probably uh, either the day before or two days, two days before the presidential election. And then I'll probably have a recap after the presidential election. But yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to be. Uh, that's what I've planned out. I'm obviously going to have a lot more videos in between then if you guys like watching the other content. I know that these videos get the most views because everyone wants to see uh, who... who I mean, who I predict or whoever predicts is going to win um, the governor races and Senate and House and presidency. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and tuning into this video. We're now at 66 YouTube subscribers. That's awesome. I said if we could get up to 70 by election day, that'd be pretty cool. I think we might be able to make it, which is pretty awesome. But, uh, you know, keep it coming. Keep on subscribing. I really appreciate it. And let's get right to the prediction. So with safe Democrat states, let's get right to it. There'll be Washington and Delaware are the two safe Democrat states. Now, there's not going to be like a bunch of just like there's not going to be likely lean tilt. It's not going to be all that with Democrat states due to how few uh, elections that there are right now. So also with safe Republican states are going to be Utah, North Dakota. And I don't really feel the need to talk about these states as much. Indiana and West Virginia and New Hampshire. Now, New Hampshire, most people would say that could be lean, likely Republican. I'm characterizing it as safe. Chris Anunu, very popular in New Hampshire, up in the polls in the 20-ish points. Now, I don't know if he'll win by that much on Election Day. Um, you can compare the results back last election. He only won by around eight points. But definitely, it looks like his lead has increased compared to how Trump has really decreased his support in New Hampshire. But it does look like Chris Anunu has a very strong hold and will get reelected as the governor of New Hampshire. So that's for all the safe Republican states, 24 Republicans, 22 Democrats, but that is not everything yet. So there's no likely Democrat states, but there are likely Republican states, and that is the state of Vermont. Um, surprisingly, Vermont does have a Republican governor. Don't know his first name, I know his last name, Scott. Last Well, there was only been one poll out this election, and I think he was up by like 20-ish, 30-ish points. That may be accurate. That may not be accurate. However, I don't really take I don't really take much of the governor polls into account. It just usually doesn't really relate much to me. I just kind of go off my gut instinct. Scott, uh, he won by around ten points in twenty sixteen. I do think he could win, increasing his lead a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have governor elections every two years in Vermont, but he could up win, end up winning by twelve to fifteen points. Is pretty popular, especially since he's Republican in Vermont. A bit strange, but even in a general 2020 election year, general election, uh, I, I still think that he will win the state by a likely margin. So as for new uh, for Missouri, Mike Parson is the incumbent governor. He does um, he um, he has had a significant lead in the polls. Some of them showing him up 15 points. Some showing him up. 10 -ish points. I think it will be around that margin. Uh, he is the incumbent, uh, excuse me, he is the incumbent governor of Missouri, that obviously giving him an advantage. Some would say this would be a lean category for Missouri. However, I would give it to the, him by the likely margin. Um, and, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, polls do tend to underestimate Republicans in Missouri. If you look back in 2016 with Trump, obviously underestimated. I think he's going to be underestimated again. It's actually just a lean margin for Trump. It, but he ended up winning away around 19 points back in 2016. So basically, the two close races of the election, one of them will be lean Democrat. I think we all know Roy Cooper in North Carolina, uh, incumbent governor. He's doing pretty well in the polls, averages out at nine points. Uh, some polls have him up 12. I don't believe he'll win by 12. Some polls have him up three and four. I think he'll end up winning by three and four. 
North Carolina is especially going to be competitive since Trump's on the ballot. I think that could help the Republican competitor in the state, Dan Forrest, but we will see what happens. I still think it will remain with the Democrat governor by a lean margin. Um, you know, he did win. He, he, he won in uh, 2016, I'm pretty sure. And I think he'll be able to hold on to the state. Now for Montana, I see that being a final projection lean Republican state. That means Republicans will keep a majority in the National Governor Association, although that doesn't really mean anything because governors are all state um, state uh, governments. But uh, polls have definitely increased for, um, I'm really not sure how to pronounce his last name, Greg John Forte, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Polls have sped up for him, um, has Trump's endorsement, and I do think that he'll end up winning pretty significantly. He could be a likely margin, however, I do see Maybe him winning by, I really, you know, I'm not sure right now. I could put in, the, you know, I'm going to put in the likely margin as my final prediction. I do think that he'll win by, and you know, you can check me on this in the next video, I guess in six days or five days or four days, whatever it is now. I think I'll end up winning by 12, 13 points in the state. Uh, some polls have him up 13, some have him up 10. There's one New York Times with him up for, but I do think he'll carry the state by a large margin. It was competitive earlier in the year. However, I do think that come election day, they will vote for him in large margins. So that is my final election prediction. I'll For the governors, I'll turn all the states to one color. You can see what it turns out as, but pretty predictable. I mean, this is probably going to be most people's election prediction. The only other switch I could see is in North Carolina or Montana. Uh, the other states aren't really that competitive. But thank you for watching my final 2020 governor election prediction. I kind of wanted to get this one out of the way. Governor elections, you know, it is important, but I like to focus a lot more with the Senate, the president, and I guess the House a little bit. I haven't even done a House election prediction. I don't really know if I'll do the whole map because that seems like it's a bit chaotic, but I may uh, just give my estimation at the end of the Senate video or something like that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for a lot more videos in the coming days until the election. We are now, let me give you the election count, which I try and do every video. Well, I, still, I mean, I've done it before. Four days, seven hours, 10 minutes, and seven seconds out from the election, um, out from election day. So brace yourself. Whoever wins uh, these services and governor and president will be in office for the next few years. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos. I know I just said this and make sure to subscribe. Have a nice day.